Welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss how to deal with Excel data which is not in neat clean form, how to fill missing values, uh, and how to rename variables in snake style in an easy way. So many a times we deal with data uh, where we need to fill missing values. So first of all, I am going to deal with missing values. For example, if we have data in Excel, uh, here you see that uh, we have this one and we want to fill all these values with one, one, one. So what we'll do, we'll just fill these values with one, one, one and similarly unmerge these cells and fill these values with two, two, two. And if we have very large data, then it will become a difficult job to fill these values manually. So how we deal with this, uh, with such data, we have a nice simple way in R and that's what we are going to discuss here. So <clears throat> we have uh, a, a, a library tidyverse, which is umbrella package, library read Excel, which is uh, to read Excel data and library janitor. That's very useful package for cleaning data. And I'm going to uh, show you that how you can rename variables easily with the help of this library janitor. So I have just shown you data in Excel, uh, which is like this way roster. So you see we have one and here NA, 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 two, NA, NA not available. We want to fill many a times with previous value or the next value. So what we are going to do here that we are going to fill the value last observation carried forward. So when we uh, apply this command, now you see this data group one, 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 two, 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 two. And now if we have messy data, I have a messy data here, uh, which has uh, basically, uh, you see it's, if I take its dimension, so there are 2,280 uh, rows and 504 columns. No, how to fill this data if we take its uh, first uh, few values uh, head. Okay, so you see there are so many values here, NA, 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 and we have 500, uh, uh, four columns. So how to fill these columns with this previous value like this one, what we are going to do, we are just going to apply, uh, okay, na dot last observation carried forward data to na dot rm uh, 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 false and i'm going to take it head and now you will see that all those values which are missing are carried by, are filled by the previous value so you can you can fill these values within no time uh, just by using this last observation carried forward similarly if we have data in excel and we want to okay we have this transaction data and there are a large number of variables how to rename these variables that's what we are going to discuss here so supermarket what are its names so names are this transaction purchase data now you see there is a space customer id now you see id is capital gender so some words are capital some words are small so instead of making this these variables in this style we are going to make it in uh, snake style so i am going to use supermarket pipe operator then means then is we apply this operator then we clean its names if you want to rename this data you can rename and what are now column names okay this is nice transaction purchase underscore always rename your variables where there is space with underscore that means when you'll uh, carry the column when you'll write its name it's easy to write okay i have another data nurses it may take little time because it's going to be uh, read from github names nurses no you see look at this wage slash salary standard error parentheses percentage similarly this one total employee national aggregate so reading, look here, this one, total employed and then in parentheses, healthcare, state, aggregate, recalling these names is always difficult. So instead of that, we what, what how we rename these, all these variables in one go, just write down clean names, which comes from library janitor and column names. And you can write down here, uh, nurses clean data. So, oh, that's, that's great. You see, wage it in person 
it has converted percent itself okay total employed healthcare state aggregate wow wow boom boom shakalaka look at this another way uh, another thing here we have data which is basically uh, okay okay it, uh, uh, it has not read this data okay okay and if i take this dirty data if we play this dirty uh, we display this dirty data no you see we have empty columns we have empty rows and we want to delete it so what i'm going to first of all re, uh, uh, rename its variables employee status subject so what i'm going to do i have dirty data excel and okay wait okay So I have this dirty clean names. If I take it up to this, okay. Now rename th these variables are now. If I remove empty rows, empty columns, so you have na 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 here, and you have na na here. It will be removed. Okay. If I take remove constants, we can and we can rename it as clean Excel. That's okay. Fine. Now if I display, oh sorry, uh, if I okay. Now, if I just display clean Excel, there is one issue left. So here you see higher date. These higher date is, is in form of numbers. We want to convert it into date variable. So pipe operator and then mutate. Mutate is for calculating new variable. Higher date Excel numeric to date. And if I press it, if I run, run this command, so now you have higher date in nice format. Okay, now it's in date format. Another example, look here we have data, uh, as students, and here we have five. How to deal with this data? That's, that's, that's another way. How to deal with this data? That this five should be read as five like this way. So, so it's, it's now a character variable because this five is not uh, readable by machine as number. So it's not numeric. How we can convert it into numeric? That's, that's, another, uh, 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 that's what we are going to see here. I have read Excel column type numeric, and then there is a, there is a command. Okay, okay. Uh, go to this. I am going to make this change. Students, students. Then pipe operator mutate. Case when five. It is named as five. It's it's like this way. Otherwise, it's a numeric. So here we have students. Okay, and here we have students, and now it's a numeric number. And now it's a double means it's a numeric. You can apply mean, variance, and another uh, all those things. Another one, look here. So we have this data survey, and you see number of pets two. Now this two is text variable. How to deal with this? The same thing. Case when two, so it will be two. Otherwise, as numeric. And now you have this survey data. So I hope this uh, will help you a lot in uh, uh, dealing with data, with uh, wrangling data, where you can replace missing values with na.locf or some other way. And similarly, you can uh, uh, change these uh, text numbers into numeric numbers and at the same time, how to rename your columns. Thank you for watching. Take care.